Over in Gatesville, prospectors search for what might be at the end of the rainbow. There's gold in them there hills. There's gold in them there hills. The water's getting low, but onward we must go. There's gold in them there hills. Well, my name's Tom, and I'm from over in the western part of the state, and I'm here in Brown County looking for gold. It's uh, glacier gold that came down here 10,000 years ago from Canada via the Wisconsin Glacier, and it was pushed in here and ground up really fine, so it's hard to see. <laughs> the minimal tool is a gold pan. Then you can move up to a high banker is where you're setting that up and pumping water to it and then you shovel and, and feed into it with that and then the next thing after the high banker is the dredge which is I'm just vacuuming the bottom of the creek as you see here I'm on the inside bend of this creek and the gold follows the shortest route possible because it's heaviest, you know, next to platinum and some of the higher minerals, but it takes the shortest route. So when the water's coming down through here, it goes around that curve, but the gold doesn't want to go there. It wants to go right straight down the creek. So that's why I work the inside corners. Okay, folks, it's time to do it again. The Gold Prospectors Association meets the first Saturday of every month. Let's Take off and start right here and we'll go around and say your name and where you're from. And we are a chapter of the Gold Prospectors Association of America. It's the Gold Prospectors Association of America, they've been around for a long time. A lot of the people, they're there to get that gold, you know. They want to spend their time in the creek. They get with us for the meeting and then it's time for a raffle. Everybody gets one, huh? Everybody gets a door price ticket. Thank you. If anybody objects, they can fight her. She's wiry. First number, 391-237. You won, buddy. Say yay. <laughs> the Gold Prospectors meet outside the Gatesville Country Store, which is run by Robin Steelers. She cooks up homemade meals and has supplied them with tools, food, and know-how for years. We have a little bit of a store, a little bit of a restaurant, and then the gold prospectors come, enjoy the property, or people that just like to go rock hunting and things like that. And we have a lot of local following too. There's several people that live in the area, but we get a lot of construction crews, the worker guys, because they come in with dirty shoes and muddy boots and it's a concrete floor and it's okay. <laughs> so people enjoy it here, it's just a home. You know, they, it's a homey place. We're not here for the money. We're, we're here for the camaraderie and the enjoyment of being outside, and especially in a beautiful place like Brown County. <laughs>